Hey guys, it's Pony here, and this is how I use the worst agent in the game to destroy raiding lobbies. Here, me and Fade are making our way up to short. An important takeaway from us pushing up here is to always calm if you're gonna swing someone. Because while Fade swings, I take out my grab net to try to lock down Silva. So this is a big miscommunication. However, Silva is kind of stuck now, so I just wide swing him to take him out. Why don't you just wait? I should have told you. Nice, we go B. Anyways, after taking out Sova, we make our way up to Market, where I wall the connection to CT to funnel them into going CT. And notice how I don't push up into Market immediately. I wait for my jet to smoke it. This is just to make sure that I won't get shot from CT, because you never know. Also, Ride, please give us an option to make the wall a solid color, instead of it being translucent. Please, thank you. After going on the side, I fake plant and push up the stairs, as they still have a lot of util to retake side with, as it's an omen and sky. So you need to get a little bit creative. After taking out omen, I just fuck around because it's comp, and it's important to have fun, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> here we're attacking a side on lotus i either use this line up here for the granite or I just throw it here. The reason for throwing it like this is two reasons. Number one is that a lot of people opt this angle. And the granite here makes it even riskier to op. As if Jet tries to dash away, she will still be kind of stuck. She won't really dash away. And two, it gives our team some time to push up as it takes a second to remove the granite. After taking the space, A main, I throw my usual wall stairs to stop the retake a bit. Then I decide to take G as Breach wants to ult it. When we're on the side, take note of this sonic sensor right here, as it will be very important later. After taking out race, I stay on site, alternating between different angles, as there are a lot of angles to watch out for. I take out Cypher, and this is where the sonic sensor gets the spotlight. When people jump down from heaven, they have two choices, right? Either jump closer to drop, or you jump into the little tunnel. This sonic sensor here stunts towards the little tunnel, which means that anyone who drops into this tunnel will get stunned. However, I don't really peek him here while he's stunned, because the clock is sticking on the spike, so there isn't really any reason for me to peek him yet. We gotta waste some time first. Play with our meal. In this clip, I used my patented ceiling trips. And this is by far the best ceiling trip I've found in Valorant. Like, no joke, this is the most broken one I've used. If they push towards lamps or down towards stairs, they get stunned. And it's in a position that nobody really expects either. Like, it's on the top of a teleporter. I therefore use this to catch Brimstone off guard and get an easy kill on him. Like, look how confused this guy looks. Oh, by the way, this is my usual setup on the A-side bind. One sonic sensor here and one ceiling trip here. Then I wall showers. Anyways, after taking out Brimstone, a Cypher pushes up, so I peek off his cage and take him out. In theory though, I should have probably waited a little bit longer for him to get stunned, but it is what it is. Then I just dance with Sky a bit and win the round. Yeah, this goes to if you're attacking Lotus A side and the enemy instantly takes A main control with Breach Stun, Omen Flash, Race Nade, etc., don't waste your time on trying to push it. It's better to rotate and to take C or B, as there will only be one or two people on site. So that's exactly what we do here. After making our way to C side, I always grab it at back side to clear out the rats. And with the Race Nade, this works even better. Anyways, Cypher spawns out of his cage, so I just flick his ass. After taking Cypher out on a walk, I wall Waterfall as this is better than walling CT since the people CT can either just jump over the wall or they only have to break one node to get through compared to the two in Waterfall. Then I hold flank as you know, deadlock and flank watching goes hand in hand. I also use this to my advantage sometimes as if the enemy sees a deadlock, they think free flanks. So here I use it to win the round. Nice, but Comboing Groundhound lineups with Deadlock's ultimate is one of the easiest ways to guarantee kills on attack. Here, I use my usual lineup on Haven A long, combo with the ultimate, which basically gives me a guaranteed kill on Cypher. After taking out Cypher, the side is fully ours, but remember to wait until he's actually dead, otherwise he'll just run into his trips. I wall CT, but managed to screw it up just a tiny bit. I wanted to have it deeper in CT, so that both nodes would have to be broken, but that's okay. Anyway, Sova ults my sonic sensors, so I'm kind of sad. Oh. 
I swing out with my KO to trade him, and then I go back into cover to finish the job by spraying through the smoke. Here, we're attacking B-side and Bind. I first jiggled the corner because their jet has usually held long with an AWP, but seeing as nobody's here, I decided to push up. Oh After taking out Reyna, I wall CT like this to funnel them towards Elbow, which you will see in a sec. After planning, me and two of my teammates make our way up to Elbow to say hello to them. After taking out Sage, the chances that they will push up towards me to try to trade me is extremely high. That's why I placed the Sonic Sensor like this very aggressively, as they won't really expect it, and it will most likely stun them as well. I also bait a little bit here by jiggling and shooting, just to make them even more focused on me and the sound the gun makes than the sound of the Sonic Sensor, because then they won't hear it. My team tells me the enemies are on the A side, so it's time for a little retake. Retakes are especially easy when you have deadlock hold, as one less person to worry about is one less vandal shooting back at you. Anyways, me and my team make our way up to heaven, and I bounce the ult towards default. This was kind of pure guessing whether or not he was actually there, but sometimes you gotta gamble. After taking out Jet with the ultimate, a lot of people from hiding show themselves when they try to break an ult out, right? So I use this to my advantage. We now know where both Sky and Sova is, so now the rest of the retake is just free real estate. Nice. Here we're attacking Lotus A site. This is my most common Lotus lineup, so take note of it. After pushing up, I throw my usual wall stairs and then go to plant the spike. I'm planning for a chief. However, here I almost died due to me not properly making sure the plant is safe. When you take in an open plant, it's risky as there's a million angles to watch out for. So same logic therefore applies to the defenders trying to defuse it. I see my omen try to fight the breach, so me, the good teammate, goes to trade him. Then I hear two enemies pushing up towards heaven, so I try to do the same sonic sensor that I worked on bind, but it gets instant destroyed. But that's okay though, because this is basically a deadlock fake flash. <laughs> One main, one main, stage main. Close heaven. What the f is he doing? Yes, it is. Nice. Left side, left side, left side, left side, like this. Nice. Nice, I'm bombing it. I'm playing off my science team. All these clips are taken from my Twitch. If you want to watch some Deadlock gameplay or you have any questions about Deadlock, come over to Twitch and I'll be sure to answer them. Link in the description. Thank you guys yet again for watching the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Bye-bye.